Welcome to my channel today. I have a process video here to share with you for the Scrapbook Nerd online shop and blog. And I'm going to be sharing a series of little mini books that I created over the course of the last couple of weeks. This first one I'm going to share with you here is uh, using the Amy Tangerine Shine On collection. And you can see that I have a few pieces from this collection, including the six by six pad and some of the other cute little embellishments from the collection that I just love, including these little puffy hearts and so on. So just love that collection. It's so pretty. I love the colors. And I just took a piece of six by six um, basil marshmallow smooth cardstock and I used the packaging technique and some distress oxide inks just to create a little bit of a background here for my little mini book layout that I'm going to be creating. So what I did was I just took a black and white photograph here that's a little bit smaller than four by three and what I'm going to do with my black and white photo is I'm going to first of all mat it on some white cardstock because I didn't leave a border around the photo. I just wanted to set it off with a little bit of a white border around the edge. So I'm going to adhere it down to some white cardstock. And then what I'm going to do is just take my Tim Holtz trimmer here, and I'm going to just trim off that excess cardstock, just enough to leave a little bit of that white border around my photograph here. So you can just see I'm trimming that up in that way and then I'm going to go ahead and map that onto a piece of pattern paper from the Shine On Collection 6x6 pad. It's just that uh, teal colored paper that you see to the left of the screen here that has the cactus on it and I really love that paper. I think it's really pretty and the color goes nicely with one of the colors that I used in the background uh, using the Distress Oxide ink. So now I'm just going to take that pattern paper, like I said, I'm going to adhere my photo onto that and then I'm going to just trim that up just like I did with the white paper. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with mini books in your craft space. Um, for this one, this page is actually going to go into a six by eight album and it's a six by eight album that um, has the two rings in it. And you can, I mean, obviously there's a ton of things that you can do inside of a mini book, like a six by eight album. This would be something that I would just use as an insert into that album. And so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> pardon me, is I'm just going to use my hole punch to um, create a couple of holes in the binding or in the side there and then put that into that album. So now I'm just taking a piece of pattern paper again from that six by six pad that I have fussy cut. So those leaves are just part of a larger six by six sheet and I just fussy cut that little edge off of it so that it looks like it's um, kind of like a little bit of foliage growing up from the bottom of my paper. And I just love the colors in this Shine On collection. I think they're so much fun. And I really liked this leaf pattern and I like how that just sort of like sets off the bottom of this little collage that I'm going to be making with this layout. Now a little six by six layout is so much fun to create because it takes very little time to do and you can document some really fun memories in a really quick way. And you can actually on the back of this little spread, you can do all of your journaling on the back and then there's tons of space to do this. So you can see here, this is the little album that I'm going to be inserting this into. I'm going to just do my hole punching along the side there and this will then go into that album as one little insert into a larger album that you can use your pocket pages in or whatever you want to do for the rest of that mini album. So now I'm just going to use some of the embellishments from the uh, Amy Tangerine Shine On collection to finish up this layout. I'm going to just pop up my photo using some craft foam and in that way that it'll, it'll just give my page, my little mini page here, a little bit of dimension. Just gonna put a paperweight on top of that so that it will have a little bit of drying time. And now you'll just see a little bit of a transition here and I'm going to use just some other bits and pieces from the collection to um, put on here as more detail. So I'm just taking my fine line bottle 
and I'm going to add just this little strip of pattern paper over top of those leaves at the bottom. This is just a little strip that I cut from one of the six by six paper pads from that collection or from the uh, Shine On six by six pad. That little paper pad has a bunch of cut aparts in it. And if you don't have a die cut pack to go along with a collection, oftentimes a six by six pad will have a cut apart in it that you can make your own embellishments with. So the little cut aparts that you see here, the, these little bits, so this little sentiment sticker that's going up above the photo and some of the other little um, pieces are all from the cut apart sheet from the collection, including this little circle, which I just punched with a circle punch and then I'm just putting a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of that and voila you have an embellishment there so um, it's pretty cool what you can do with a six by six pad now I'm just taking those little hearts and some of the chipboard pieces and so on and that is what I'm going to finish up embellishing the rest of this um, layout with and I, like I said, I didn't buy, I didn't purchase every single piece of this collection, but I just picked key pieces that I thought would go a long way in my stash. And then these bits are perfect for creating, especially with things like little um, mini books, or if you're doing like project life and that sort of thing, these embellishments are great for embellishing your little four by three cards and so on two by three cards, four by six cards, etc., that you might be working with as part of your project life spreads. So I'm just kind of going through what I have and checking out what's what I think I'm going to use and what I like and that sort of thing. Just trying things out in different places. That's what I found in the past to be the best way of figuring out what I want to use. And now you can just see those little puffy hearts are just so adorable. I just love them and yeah the, the colors in that collection are just fantastic the chipboard sheet that i'm going to be choosing from here now has a, a combination of black gold and white and it's so pretty i really really love it and i love all of the different pieces on here i can't even imagine how many stickers are on this sheet but it's a lot I don't end up using that love at the bottom. I end up using the word wonderful instead. And the tiny little hearts that I'm using there, I end up changing up to the bl larger black and white hearts. But those are all stickers from that sticker sheet. Now I'm just going to take a black gel pen and I'm just going to do a little fussy, um, not a fussy, <laughs> a scribbly, messy, messy line along the edge, three of the edges, just because uh, obviously the bottom there has no space for this. So it'll just be the three other edges just to finish those three edges off. And this is a really quick and easy way to add a little bit of finishing detail onto a little layout. It's perfect for a little tiny spread like this one, or I should say a little tiny layout like this one. And I'm just going to finish up there with that gel pen. So I'm liking how that looks. I think that finishes that off. And like I said, I will hole punch that so that that can go into the rings of my six by eight binder. I'm just gonna pop that in there and that's going to be finished. And this little album is ready to go for lots of other pages. And I like that, I think that's perfect. So whatever it is that you might want to use as a theme for, uh, for an album like this, um, it's perfect. It's a perfect little project that can be done quite quickly, actually. This is another album that I made recently um, using the Willow Lane collection from Crate Paper, and I used a few other little bits and pieces from some other Maggie Holmes collections. All I did was I took a piece of chipboard from just from my stash of chipboard pieces that I've saved over the years from packaging. And what I did was I just trimmed that down to six by six. I wanted it to be six by six because once again, I wanted to use six by six paper pads to work with this. And what I did was I, you can see that I've layered these little uh, butterflies. So I just fussy cut the butterflies from the pattern paper. Then I took some vellum, a doily and some vellum that has gold accents on it. I also sewed around the edge of my little butterfly butterfly. I added some gold cord and some stickles in gold 
to the centers of those butterflies and they are super dimensional. So those are the little guys that I um, created for the cover of this um, chipboard book. And then you can see that I created some uh, reinforcements with some gold glitter paper. I've just added a bunch of embellishments and then I just started to create um, some little journaling spots inside and adding some embellishments. Once again, this is a really great way to use up some of the embellishments from the different collections. I find that crepe paper is fantastic for creating really cool little extra things that you can add into mini books like this. The third mini book that I'm sharing with you today here is a, a little folding mini book. I am going to leave a link to the video where you can um, see how to actually fold the paper. But how this started out was uh, just with a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper that's folded into uh, three by three squares. And then you just actually end up cutting it in three little spots and you end up with this really adorable little flip book. So what I did then was I just created a little cover um, using some watercolor paper and some chipboard. So I just cut the three by three square of watercolor paper, adhered it to a three by three piece of chipboard, and then glued that onto the front and back of my little book. So you can see that I'm just adhering that on there. I'm gonna adhere this little cover onto the front and then you can decorate that however you see fit. So I ended up decorating my front cover with a little bit of Distress Oxide ink, uh, just using the packaging technique. I put a few stickers on there and really, really easy to do. And this is just a really fun, easy project that you could create. I'm gonna say that in if you had your photographs already printed, I would say that you could create this little album in two to three hours easily. And so it's just a really super easy, fun project. So there you can see that's my, my cover for my front. I'm gonna use exactly the same process for the back and it's going to be finished. And you can just, you can see how you can flip it and turn it and open it and you've got all different sides to add your different things to. So I'm gonna show you here that this is all finished or at least it's ready to be um, populated with all my bits. So Our Family is the title. Then you can see a little photograph there, a little journaling spot and so on. It's This little album is ready to be filled up with memories and stories. This is a really sweet, could be a really sweet little birthday gift or Christmas gift. It's tiny and it would be really cool for a little grandparent brag book or something like that to throw into your purse. And you can see that I'm just um, going to tie this up with a little bit of cord just to uh, fasten it shut. And that'll be the, the finished product there. So I really like how this turned out. Um, guys, there's a lot of really cool ideas out there for creating mini books. Uh, check out the Scrapbook Nerd online shop for all of your different little embellishments and papers, um, mixed media that you could use for these different projects. There's so many fun ways and formats to document your memories. These are just a few I thought I would like to share with you today. Um, I do have the details for this project as well up on the Scrapbook Nerd blog that will be going up on Friday this week. So thanks so much guys. And uh, I really appreciate that you stopped by today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think and I'll see you another time. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.